are going to make a barbecue chicken pie. I have never done that, so come figure it out with me, but it's super easy. Well, it looks super easy. It's budget friendly because I'm all about saving you guys time and money in the kitchen. So if you're watching live, comment live. If you're watching replay, comment replay. And also make sure that today we are giving away our deep dish pie plate to one lucky person. So all you gotta do is comment and share and then comment that you comment and share and you are entered to win and you have to do it within 24 hours, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and share this real quick, this video in my virtual parties. So while I do that, just get settled. Let me know what your guys' weekend plans are. I would love to hear them and I will get started here in a second. Let's see if my video is live. Yay, it's live. Okay, we're good to go. So if you're just tuning in or if you're watching the replay, you may want to fast forward just like two minutes while I get to share this link into all of the parties. Okay, all right, there we go. People are popping in. Um, so what are we making? Barbecue chicken pie. Just copied once, then I can come back and talk to you guys. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ah. Right, obviously, I, s I suck at multitasking, but pop on in. We are about to go live. Well, we are live. We're going to make barbecue chicken pie, not dessert, barbecue chicken pie, something different to switch up dinner time. And we're just giving this into our virtual parties real quick. go share the live do, do, do. so as you guys are popping in let me know what your weekend plans are all right I would love to hear them I'm struggling today because Facebook changed everything around <laughs> can't find anything anymore let's see ah uh, Maybe not. <laughs> All right, so if you're just tuning in, make sure you comment and share, and then you get entered to win our deep dish pie plate. Last week, not last week, because I wasn't here, but the week before somebody won another piece of stoneware. All right, that was fun. So, all right, let's see if it's gonna mess with this one over here. Hello, hi, 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 Jackie, hi, Michelle, hi, Mary, hi, Samantha. Thanks for popping in. And we are ready to go. Okay, I did it. Look, less than two minutes. <laughs> All right, so awesome. Yay, one of your friends is live. Awesome, you guys are great. Okay, here we go. Are you guys ready? Comment ready in the chat if you want to see this recipe. It's actually an old recipe. Um, so I went to look for a recipe for this. And for those of you guys that are new here, I don't, I mean, I'm not a baker. I don't say I don't bake, I try, okay? But it's definitely not my expertise. So I was like, I want something savory. So I was going to make, um, cause we just did in Chicago and we just went to Chicago. Um, the team and I just did a Chicago deep dish cooking class. So it was really cool. So you could do that in here, but we just had pizza the other day. So I was like, eh, let's try something else. So I found the barbecue chicken pie recipe. I'm going to play with it. So come along. Um, I'm going to cook all the things. The oven is already preheating and we're going to get this show on the road. Okay. So the first thing we got to do is tell you all about the ingredients. So if you think about it, it's going to be like pie crust on the bottom, cheese, barbecue chicken, sour cream, tomatoes, green onions, all those fun things all together. But the first thing we need to do, okay, is, um, I feel naked today. <laughs> so hopefully it looks okay, but I feel like, okay, anyways, long story short. We're going to cook the chicken first. So I have two chicken breasts in here and I wish you guys could feel this. I want to tell you something about our cookware. So um, I just got the Instacart order a couple hours ago and the chicken was frozen solid. So it's like, shoot, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I can cook it frozen in here, but I don't want to keep you guys for any longer to deal with me. So I was like, oh, I love our cookware because our cookware, not does it just, not only does it distribute the heat evenly, it actually pulls um, the coldness or the frozen or whatever you want to call it out of 
your chicken, your beef, like you can actually use it to thaw things out. So uh, look at all this liquid that's in here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this was just like an hour or two ago. I put it in here. The whole outside of the pan is ice cold, which shows you that when you use our cookware, it distributes the heat evenly. So if you're making pancakes, they're not like brown on one side and not done on the other side. So I just got two chicken breasts because we need three cups. And you guys know one of the easiest, fastest, well maybe you don't know, one of the easiest, fastest way to cook chicken. Yes, it's chicken in the microwave in our, this is the mini because we only have two um, chicken breasts in our baby deep covered baker or your regular deep covered baker. Or if you have a rock crock, you could use your rock crock as well. Okay, so we're just gonna throw it in here. So this is another idea if you need a quick dinner, you can make some barbecue chicken right in your deep covered baker. And if you want the barbecue chicken video we did a couple, I don't know, a month or so ago, let me know and I can send it to you. Okay, so we have our chicken in here. It perfectly fits two chicken breasts. I'm not going to slice it and make sure it's all even because I'm going to chop it up anyway. So we're going to put some barbecue sauce on here. One of my favorite go-to smoky barbecue. It's like a sweet sweet barbecue and then we're going to put some barbecue sauce you can make your own whichever one you prefer okay and then this is just going to go in the microwave for like eight minutes and then we'll check it because it may still still be a little frozen i think it's like halfly thought out but we will work with it now this is a great recipe guys if you already have some cooked chicken. So those of you guys that have watched my power cooking, um, if you have some chicken you already cooked, right, you could do that as well and just use that so you don't have to cook any chicken. But I needed to cook some, so we're gonna do, all right, we're gonna do eight minutes and move on to our pie crust. Sound good? All right, so, as you guys are tuning in, just remember there's always three ways to get our products. One, you can click the link tree above. Two, if you're part of a party, make sure you shop with your virtual party. Um, and this month, when you spend $80, you get a quick stir picture. Should have brought that out. You get a quick quick stir picture for free. No, wrong. We spent $80, you get our pairing knives for free. And when you spend $100, you get the quick stir picture for free. And $150, you get to free shipping. Okay, so you can shop anytime. If you see a lot of things you want, um, I have an exclusive party platform with a virtual kitchen, fun games, and away from all social media. So whether you are on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok, or you're not, you can have a virtual gathering, okay, with your friends. Um, and that way you can get stuff for free and half price and 60% off. Or the third way to get a product, make money while you're cooking dinner anyways. <laughs> all right, this will be our dinner today. So you could do what I do, and this month all of our starter kits are $40 off, so you can join for as little as $39. So anyhow, make sure you comment and share to enter to win this beautiful pie plate, right? So this is actually going away. I'm actually a little sad about that. I'm like, what are we gonna do? Uh, it's going away, so it's on sale right now. Uh, it's normally $45 on sale right now for 36 but I'm giving one of these away. All you gotta do is comment share. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Now don't judge me, I am not a pie person. I'm sure you guys can make this look prettier or whatever you do to this, okay? So you just use your pie crust. You can make your own if you wanna be fancy. I know you can do like fancy schmancy stuff, but I don't know how to do that. So if somebody wants to come over and teach me, I'm a good learner, I just need someone to physically show me. And then I remember. Okay, so this is gonna go, oh, I needed to prick this a couple times. So, do, 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 do. I'm sure you do this all the time. Do, 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 do. Okay, and this is just gonna go in the oven and bake for like eight to 10 minutes until it's done and then we're gonna take it out. So, 10 minutes it says. Okay, so in the oven it goes while we prep the rest of the ingredients. All right, I'm gonna do eight minutes and then check, okay? So let me see who's popping in so far. Hello, hello, what are your weekend plans today? 
Let's see. Oh, we got Germany in the house. Hello, Deutschland. Oh, my dad's on. Ciao, Papa. Italia is in the house. <laughs> you guys are funny. Uh, excited to watch my live? Yay, thanks. I appreciate that. All right. So we're going to keep going <clears throat> and get all of our ingredients ready. So one of the things we need is we need to slice some tomatoes. I already washed these. They're all nice and clean. So we're going to slice them a lot faster by using our closing cut, okay? So you guys see me use this for chicken all the time. If I was grilling this chicken or searing it on a pan, I would have sliced it in half because one of the sides is really thick. But since it's all going in there all together and I'm gonna chop it up anyways, I didn't even bother, okay? So you can slice your chicken in half. You can save some money by doing that. Instead of buying the thinly sliced chicken, it costs more per pound. You can do it yourself. And it kind of strengthens your meals, right? You turn four chicken breasts into six or eight, just up on some of the sides, and you're good to go. All right, so close and cut. This is a combo item, so it comes with the knife because you really do need a sharp knife, and you need to make sure your knife is at least seven inches, okay? So here we go. Bam, bam, bam. Look at that, right? So you could use this for mozzarella. You could use it for olives. You could use it for grapes. Um, for the New Yorkers here, you could use it for bagels, right? I mean, or any other bagels you have, but I do love it for chicken breast. Okay, so we got that part done. Let's see what else we need. Ah, sour cream. Okay, so let's get some sour cream. All right, so for sour cream, you're going to kind of pipe the sour cream on top at the end. So we're going to use our Easy Accent Decorate, okay? This is an oldie but goodie, kind of got a little redesign, so it looks a little cooler. Um, so how many of you guys have this? Let me know in the comments if you have our Easy Accent Decorator. Most people get it for their deviled eggs. Mm. Oh, it's got on my voice today. I don't know what's going on. I need more coffee. <laughs> Everybody, it's coffee time, 2 p.m. on a Friday. Okay, I'm gonna tell you about this cup. I stole my husband's cup. You guys wanna know? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you about this cup, okay? So, Marco, my son, got this for my husband, Brett. Um, we have this cute little store where they have like cups and random stuff. So we went in there and as soon as me and him saw it, we're like, we need this cup. So it says, who needs to read instructions when you have a dad? <laughs> We always ask him because he just knows all the answers. So we're like, and he's like, Google it. And we're like, no, it's so much faster, right? So anyways, a little little joke for the day. All right, back to work. So sour cream. So we're going to put this in here, which is really great for frosting. Um, I have the piping bags too, but I always prefer this one. It's so much less messy, easier to use, but it's great for deviled eggs, guys. But of course, you can use it for your frosting and your regular decorating activities. It comes with different tips, so it's super fun. So it's called the Easy Accent Decorator. Um, and for those of you guys that didn't know, I haven't posted about it yet. I'm still, I'm still playing catch up. Last week, I was at National Conference. Finally, after two years, we had National Conference in person. And... Um, was terrified. <laughs> I don't know why, but I got to go do a demo on stage and pretend like I was going live. Um, and I made sure I was wearing, actually I'm surprised, you probably surprised yourself that I'm actually dressed today, but I have other things to do today. So it involved actually getting dressed and getting out of my yoga pants. So um, I did the live demo. For those of you guys that were live there, let me know. But uh, I did the live demo on stage <laughs> in yoga pants and a t-shirt because I wanted to show people that you can be your true authentic self and have some crap. You don't always have to be put together. Just show up the way you are. Show up and be authentically you, right? So, and that's what you get. That's what you get. So if this is your first time watching me, <laughs> welcome to the show. <laughs> this is what you get. All right. Anyway, so it was fun. So I got to do a live demo in front of like 3,000 live people and who knows how many virtual. Um, and it was a little terrifying. But you know what I miss now? I miss the reaction. I wish you guys could be like, yay, whoo, or whatever. There was a reaction button because that was kind of cool. 
to have that audience respond to you. So I wish I wish we could do that. That's what cooking shows are for, live cooking shows. All right, anyways, back to the topic, cheese. Let me go get cheese. All right, I'm going to ask you guys, you should know this by now, why should you grate your own cheese? Why should you grate your own cheese? Put it in the comments. I'm going to get me my cheese. Cheesy cheese. Looks like our chicken is done. Maybe we should check that before. And you know what else I got to show live on um, stage? My favorite hack I came up with, which is make your own cheese sticks. Um, and I feel like people either think it's stupid or they love it, but I'm obsessed with it. And that's okay. I love it. I think it's fun and it tastes way better actually. And it's cheaper. Saves you a lot of money. Okay, so we're gonna grate some cheese. Um, we need some cheese for the bottom and some cheese on top. I don't know why anybody measures, measures cheese. I think that's like why, right? So this does have a safety guard if you're afraid to grate your knuckles. I would definitely recommend that. Um, I just don't feel like using it. <laughs> I feel like it's faster this way. But if you have kids or something, or if you are a clunky cook, um, or accident prone, then you might want to do that, right? And I love this side. This is the extra large side because, look at that. I like big, fat cheese shreds. All right, so we're gonna shred this thing up. We do do some cheese for the bottom and some cheese for the top. And then we're gonna get the chicken out and see if it's done, all right? So here we go, get rid of that. And so you can see when you shred, let's see if anybody commented below and told us why you should shred your own cheese. Did anybody say it? If not, I'm gonna say it again. Like I always say, right? You should shred your own cheese. It melts better in your food. It's less clumpy. It's cheaper, right? And you get a lot more bang for your buck. It's always cheaper to do it yourself than to have the store do it. So that's my goal. Help you save time and money in the kitchen and show you that dinner does not have to be complicated. Look at that, look at that, eight ounces of what happens to that once you shred it yourself. Goes in the dishwasher, these actually come apart if you want, but get yourself a nice cheese grater for my Joe. Okay, all right, let's go. Let's get this chicken out. Let's see, did anybody know it? All right, let's get this out. So this was eight minutes. So we're gonna see and if it's done, let's check on this pie crust. I have no idea what pie crust. Is that eight minutes? Was that eight minutes? Must have been eight minutes. All right, I'll keep it in there for like two more minutes until it's a little bit more brown. Okay, so we got our chicken out of here. It was eight minutes, I know. Those are, okay, so I'm gonna ask. Who's been to my cooking shows and actually, or who's done this themselves and have past tried chicken in the microwave? Comment below, tell me you love it. Because when I do this at cooking shows, people are like, yeah, all right? But then when you try it, it's kind of like slow cooker chicken. So instead of putting it in the slow cooker for six to eight hours, you just put it in here for eight minutes, literally the same results identical, okay? And the stoneware helps keep the moisture in there, helps keep it nice and moist and juicy and all those fun things, okay? And if you guys remember, I didn't add any liquid. I actually drained the liquid and used the liquid that was in the pan. So I wanna show you all those juices, okay? And this is the baby baker, so it's perfect for a family of two or for some, you know, little sides or something. So you can see, I don't know if you can see it, all the juices in here. This was chicken done in the microwave in eight minutes, okay? So please do not buy pre-cooked chicken and pre-sliced chicken. I actually, all right, I'm gonna do a little confession. I bought pre-sliced chicken breasts at conference for my salad from Aldi's and I thought it was disgusting, okay? Just because I didn't have anything to cook and I wanted to make sure I got my, my protein in. And I was like, how long has that chicken been sitting there in that plastic, in that grocery store? Like it's gotta be cooked and delivered to the grocery store and then it has a sell by date. So I was like, mm, no. Okay, so now we're gonna go in here. Look at that. All right, let me show you. I need I need like an assistant that zooms in for me. That'd be great. But look at that. 
You see how juicy that is? Look at that moisture, all that in the microwave in eight minutes. There's no faster and better way than the cooking chicken. Okay? Alright, so our chicken's done. We're gonna chop it up so it's ready to go. So you need about three cups. Um, this looks more like maybe two, but we're just gonna go with it. So if you want the pie to be bigger and have more meat inside, then you can just do more, right? If you're feeding like a bigger crowd and you want your chicken barbecue pie to be bigger, you just add more. All right, chop, chop. I like my chicken really small. So these right here are the salad choppers, if you're new. I think they should be called everything choppers because they are perfect for chicken, shredded pork, but they are great for salad as well. So here you have it, all of our chicken. You see that? Ah, do we love it? Can I get some hearts? Can I get some hearts, please? All right, um, and don't forget, if you're just tuning in, we are giving away a stoneware deep dish pie plate. So just make sure you comment and you share. That's all you gotta do, and then tomorrow, I will draw a winner. You got 24 hours still, so just do it, okay? Appreciate it. All right, so here we go. Let's take this out um, and assemble. I'm trying to think if I'm missing something. Assemble our pie here. Okay. Look at that. It is starting to get golden brown right here. So maybe it could use another minute or so. I don't know. But I want to show you the finished product. <laughs> so you want to put some cheese on the bottom. And again, this is just a different idea. You could turn this into a pizza pie. You could turn this into a ham and cheese pie. But this pie plate is on sale right now. So you definitely want to grab it. Maybe grab an extra one for the upcoming holidays. Grab a couple gifts when it's pie season. They're going to look beautiful on your entertaining table. Okay, so make sure you snack some of those before they go away. And the gray is like a very contemporary color, right? Okay. So let's put some barbecue chicken on it now. Let's fill this up over here with barbecue chicken. It's kind of like a, kind of like a meat pie. <laughs> That's what I want to call it. It's like a meat pie. It's like a savory meat pie. But anyway, so I would love to hear, would you eat this? <laughs> would you feed this to your family? Is this something your family might like? Might be a different twist on something, right? It would be great to bring to a party. We'll have ready for like when you have friends over. So we're putting chicken um, cheese on the bottom and then we're gonna put some more chicken on top, okay? So I'm going to, just cause I love the seasoning and I, I hate when anything is like bland. So I'm going to put more barbecue seasoning on here. I'm also going to put some salt on it because, did I do this already? I don't know. Put some salt because I don't like bland chicken. And then we're going to decorate our pie. Okay? And then I'll show you one more tip. There's one ingredient missing that I'm going to show you one more tip. So this does not go back in the oven. Now you could if you wanted to. Just do it before you put on the sour cream and the tomatoes, right? Got the cheesy cheese. And while I'm on, if there's any questions, comment below. I'll make sure to answer them. Any questions about anything, really? Whatever your heart desires. All right, let's see how they decorated it. Okay. I'm not a master decorator, but we're going to give this a go. Okay. So now you can decorate this. And like I said, the Easy Accent Decorator makes it so easy because you pull down like here, and it's easy peasy. It's actually very satisfying. Oh, it looks pretty. <laughs> All right, I love when things look good. Look at that. How easy, like your kids could do that. This was so simple. All right, I'm just gonna squish the rest of this out just because, there you go. Okay, then you want to take these tomatoes. I'm just trying to look at this picture. Whoops. 
lost that one, and just kind of lay them on top and decorate. Oops, that was hot. Don't do that. I forgot about it. <laughs> All right, decorate it. So I do think it needs the tomatoes. It needs a little bit of color because it looks a little blah without it. And then we're going to add some green. And I'll give you one hack that I learned on, I think it was TikTok or something. You know anybody else learn things on TikTok? Man, I've learned so many things on there. I didn't even know it. I needed to know. All right, so look at that. Oops. I think it's fun. I think it's something different for dinner. You could actually prep a lot of these ingredients if you're busy and working and all that and running around and then just, just assemble, right? Okay, ready? I'm gonna show you my final tip. Oh, what did I do with it? Where is it? Right here. Okay, so TikTok taught me this. Anybody have this bottle in their freezer? Anybody have this bottle in the freezer? Okay, so these are green onions. And I never go through enough green onions, so they always go bad and all that. I don't even worry about regrowing them because I don't even eat the ones I have. So you slice them and then you put them in a water bottle, like a plastic bottle, put them in your freezer. Now I'm just gonna sprinkle them on top. Because they're sliced so, so thinly, they're just gonna thaw in like five minutes, right? So, um, yeah, if you love this trick, common trick, I thought this was fun. So now we're going to add some green, and now it's now it looks good. All right, now it looks like it's coming together. Green, a little plumpity plump. There we have it. So this is our ch barbecue chicken pie. But don't leave yet, because I want to tell you real quick all the items that are on sale, because we're halfway through the month, and I want to make sure you don't miss out, okay? So, do we love it? Can I get some love in the comments, or some hearts, <laughs> okay? Um, and that was super easy, right? I mean, that was with me talking, 27 minutes, but I think it's pretty good. Yay! Okay, so real quick, um, we do have a summer sale going on right now. So, we have... Um, 10 items that are right now 20% off, and they're while supplies last, so they might go away. Including this deep dish pie plate, make sure you comment and share so you're entered to win. So if you just wanted to purchase one, just click the links in here, and it's $36 instead of 45. Our large round white stone, that one is on sale. It's called the white large round stone, I just said that. Um, our rectangular baker, our rectangular baker set, so this whole thing is on mega sale right now. You get three bakers or just the big one um, separately as well. So this would be a great gift. Okay, guys, I know you went crazy Amazon Prime buying Christmas presents. What, you might want to check out this deal too, right? We have our pancake blender bottle. I showed this the other day. It's got the recipe and the ingredients right here. Put all the ingredients in, shake it, and you can make your own pancakes. We have our chocolate drizzler. So you can put melted chocolate in here and drizzle, decorate your cookies, you know, stuff like that. Um, we have our pancake shapes and emoji shapes. Um, those are on sale. Our ice cream spade, this is great if you're making homemade ice cream, to scoop it out. And then these right here, did I get anything else? Oh, our cocktail set, I don't have right now, I just let someone borrow it, but our cocktail set, that would be a great gift for someone as well. These cozies, Gigi loves these. <laughs> she makes ramen. So you basically put your bowl in here and then put it in the microwave with this thing on inside of it and then you're able to take your dish out. So this, the little one, I like for ice cream. So that way it keeps your hands nice and warm and all that, you know, um, moisture from the ice cream stays in here. So these are on sale. These are the microwave cozies and then you can just wash them in your washing machine. So anyways, thanks for tuning in for the Friday Live. Uh, Every Friday, unless otherwise, okay, every, every Friday, unless otherwise, or unless you don't hear it, then it doesn't happen, which is like next week, probably, but that's okay. I'm live all the time. So thanks for popping in. Just a reminder to, in order to win this, just comment and share. And if you want the whole recipe, um, just comment recipe, and I'll send you the whole link so you can have that. Okay. Sound good. All right, guys. Have a good weekend. Ciao, ciao.